You guys, I am so excited. I just got the Chanel Fall 2021 collection in the mail, like just now. Hey guys, welcome back to Zagami Beauty. Today is actually a surprise filming day. I was going to film the new Dior highlighters. That was the intention, quick video. I got three highlighters, I still will. However, I got notification that my Chanel order came in. The fall 2021 makeup collection came in so super fast. I don't know what's going on with the Canadian release of this collection this year. It's never this fast. We're always three, four, sometimes weeks behind the US. And I'm so excited because, well, actually, if you wanna know why I'm so excited for this collection, I'm gonna refer you to my preview video because it's all there and I don't wanna just kinda of like repeat myself. Before we get started, of course, I invite you to subscribe, to like this video, of course, and leave me a comment down below. Are you guys interested in this collection this year? Now, speaking of that, I wanna say that I'm kinda of nervous as well. I told myself I'm not gonna watch any reviews because there are some you know, influencers that got the collection even earlier. I've seen some thumbnails kind of crop up in my subscriber feed on YouTube and it's been really hard not to click on those videos and some of them actually don't look very promising just from the title of the thumbnails or the picture so I'm kind of nervous I feel like this is sort of a mixed bag launch I just want to have a clean slate in my head I'm still excited that hasn't changed because I still have a vision of what I want to do with this makeup look with the products I got so I'm still super excited Okay guys, so this is how the box came in. It's just a white box and I don't usually order from the Chanel website. I have a few times when I can't get something from the beauty boutique at Shoppers Drug Mart because I like to get points. You know, I like to get something for my purchases. It wasn't out yet at Shoppers Drug Mart so I did end up getting it from the Chanel website. We open it up and then we get the Chanel embossing and then the Chanel box. This is really lovely, obviously, to store things in. You can store anything in it, essentially. Jewelry, your backup lipsticks, anything. And then it has a beautiful little Chanel sticker. I almost don't want to open it up. It's so pretty. It's a little accordion packaging. Like, just so luxe, so simple. Instead of using, like, bubble wrap, they just use paper, kind of accordioned around each product. Like, so cute. Oh, my gosh. And again, like, the lipstick blush okay all right let's go over everything i got today i ended up getting three of the contour ombres and i got them in contour khaki contour beige and contour marron i love these i feel like they're just such a malleable pencil and it's sort of like a crayon so essentially you can use it as liner but then smudge it out and create a little bit more definition almost like a smoky eye effect and they stay on all day they're very very long wearing i ended up getting two of the ombre premiere Lac, which are the liquid eyeshadows. These ones here I've never used. These came out probably, I think it was last spring, in sort of like more pinky peachy tones, and I never ended up purchasing it, so I was really happy to get my hands on these. I have it in La May Bronze and La May Ivoire. I also got the blush in ombre and the lipstick in low key. This is in the sort of like velvet formula. Okay, so I have you a little bit closer. I'm going to actually do a look today that I've been wanting to replicate since basically perusing the Chanel website. Underneath a lot of the new products, they have a video with one of their you know, um, ambassador models doing a makeup look on herself. She essentially did a very kind of like gold bronzy smoky eye, used the blush and lipstick. I just love the technique she used. It's very similar to the technique that was introduced, I think it was two summers ago for the summer launch collection, where the Stilo Ombres came out. And the technique that Lucia Pica was suggesting was to use it as a liner, smudge it underneath, and then at the top, use it as a liner as well, and then work it into the crease. And I've been doing that with the two colors I have and it just creates the most beautiful smoky eye effect. In addition to that, with this collection, what they're suggesting is to then use the lac to create sort of a shiny um, effect on the, the actual lid. So I'm gonna the use the contour khaki, which is sort of more the darker, slightly greenish shade. It's definitely not bronzy. It has sort of almost like a teal, foresty, deep green effect absolutely stunning and slightly charcoal-y as well. Now we're gonna have to work fast with these because they do set down very, very quick. So I have my brush to smudge really, really quick and let's go in. We'll start at the top and just create a definite line. I 
in a slight wing and then go in and smudge. You can see it's smudging very, very well and just creating already a slight smoky effect. Next, I'm going to create sort of a line in my crease and work it slightly in there. These are super soft, like, oh my goodness. And then again, smoke it out. Perfect. And then it just kind of creates a slightly smoky effect. Then I'm going to take that same pencil and just line it gently under my eyes. and just smoke it out. That in itself already created quite a nice, soft, smoky eye. Now we're gonna do is take the Ombre Lac in the color Lame Bronze and just apply it to the mobile lid. I'm gonna shake it first, actually. I think that's important because it has sort of a sheeny kind of like effect and I can see just slight um, distortions in the color or separation so I'm going to give it a good shake. Make sure my blend is good. I, I like it. I just think it looks you know imperfect which is what I think Chanel is all about. It's like imperfect perfection you know. Then it has like a doe foot applicator and again we have to work fast so I'm going to put that down have my brush ready so I'm just going to kind of apply it take my brush and just tap it in. So pretty. It's just a smoky eye, almost like a gunmetal oil slick effect. That lac just creates pretty, pretty dimension. I do want to put a little bit more at the top there. Go back in. It literally looks like an oil slick effect. It's crazy. All right, and that's it. I'm gonna repeat this on the other side and put on some mascara and then come right back. Okay, I'm back you guys. Mascara is on and I haven't touched anything up. Just that mascara created quite a nice um, definition to my lashes and just made the look a little bit more complete. I did add a little bit of my cargo kind of like shimmery pencil in my inner corner just because I like having a little bit of brightness in my inner corner. I think it's the intention behind these pencils and lacs. When you read through the description for each product, this is what they recommend doing, is using the pencil as sort of a base to it, creating a little bit of a smoky effect, a lined effect, and then just using the lacs as a enhancement to that look, just to create a little bit of slightly different texture, like a more sheen to the um, contrasting to the smokiness. I did find though that when I put the lac on, as I was dabbing it sort of into place, I don't think it would have blended well. Like I feel like once I used it with the sponge and it kind of just sat down, it didn't really want to blend and I'm glad that I have just a little bit of that smokiness from the cream shadow there as a transition because I feel like once it's down it doesn't want to move around and, and diffuse out. And I think next time what I would do is probably make that shadow with the pencil a, even a little bit more pronounced and that would create a little bit more of an even transition because I could build up the pencil just slightly up into into my crease a little bit more. I love this effect. I'm not great at smoky eye looks and I love how this looks. It looks slightly undone. It looks slightly imperfect and I like that because Chanel's aesthetic sometimes can seem a little bit aloof. You know, you have so much tweed, you have um, kind of like metallic accessories. Sometimes the shapes can be a little bit boxy, but again, like in my preview video, there's always that feminine touch to it combined with that sort of like slightly edgy vibe and I kind of like that. Like it still looks very chic but slightly undone. 
Okay, enough rambling. Let's get on to the blush. This blush here, I believe, is in their sort of like revamped or new formula. It's not going to be a baked formula like we're used to here in Canada. It is going to be a little bit more softer for formula. So it comes like your typical Chanel blush. Whoops, that went flying off. A little cover there. Has a little bit of a, I would say this is a natural bristle brush, maybe synthetic, I'm not sure. Not a big fan of small cheek brushes because I have a massive face and cheek area, so this doesn't really do enough for me. And then we have the blush, which is just so unique. It almost just looks like putty or clay or something. It's very, very strange. Definitely a very matte formula. When you go in and swatch it, it almost has a slight blurring effect. It's slightly warm, but slightly rosy. It's just so soft, so airbrush looking, even on, on my hand swatch. So I'm gonna pop some of this on. I'm gonna use my Dior blush brush, just kind of clean it off a bit. We want just something very delicate because we're looking quite, quite edgy and smoky in the eye area. Definitely a rose scent. I really like it. And not as like powdery. It actually has like a rose, a rose scent, but still delicate, nothing crazy. Okay guys, I had to take a little bit of an intermission there. I was running out of time and I had to go pick up my girls from my parents' house. So we went to the park for like over an hour. I made them dinner and now I gave them some activities to do so they're in the other room while I finish up this video. So needless to say, interruptions are never fun, but it allowed me to test this eye look out in some pretty decent heat and running, we're doing some soccer drills, so we're running quite a bit. So needless to say, the eye look looks the same. It looks absolutely the same. Uh, the only thing I will say is that that sort of lame effect or like sheeny effect has kind of like dulled down a bit. I don't think it was ever super shiny or, or as shiny as I was expecting it to be, but even now it's kind of just like um, dulled down a little bit. So anyways, um, I was putting on my blush, so I'm just going to touch that up because I feel like um, I need to touch it up a little bit. Plus, I didn't put on any bronzer, so why don't we do that first? I just want to warm up a, my skin just a little bit because I feel like a smoky eye with too pale of a skin just looks a little bit garish. Some Chanel bronzer from last year's Le Beige collection. Nothing too crazy, but it just kind of warmed up my face a bit so I don't look like to rocker chick, you know what I mean? Next, let's do a little bit of a highlight. It's nothing crazy, I just feel like, again, I don't want my skin to be fully flat. So I'm gonna use a Chanel highlighter, which I've used quite a bit of. It was a limited edition one, oh my goodness, four or five years ago, Plissé Lumière de Chanel. It sort of had these like little like arrow marks down the middle of it. Stunning, and one of my favorite highlighters of all time. Next, let's go back in with a little bit more blush and ombre. And just sort of top of my cheekbones. Let's just keep it up really high and slightly structured. I love the smell of this. It's definitely way more rosy. I know I mentioned earlier, but I just, I love scented products. And if you're gonna put a scent in it, it may as well be noticeable in my opinion. So if you don't like scents, it's definitely rosy. But I did notice coming back home and looking in the mirror that I feel like my under eye is quite dark without any sort of like color to tie in with the rest of my face. I'm gonna use a little bit of this blush and just kind of smoke out my lower lash line. Yeah, that's way better. Next up is the lipstick. So it's the Rouge Allure Velvet Formula. Again, this one is a little bit more on the slightly like slippy silicone -y side. This is why I didn't necessarily love this formula when I tried it out a few years ago. I feel like the Rouge Allure has a little bit more tack, a little bit more just sort of like 
presence on the lips. They just adhere a little bit better. I can understand why they went with this formula for this look because I feel like they just wanted to keep everything else soft, like a really, really intense, dark, moody, broody eye look. And then everything else just a little bit more natural and understated. Stunning packaging as always, gold and black. These bullets are just like the Rouge Allure bullets. Double C's on top. And then you just push and it pops open, pop the lipstick open, and there you have it. Chanel written there. It is a stunning, stunning peachy shade. A sprinkle of terracotta, but still very just almost like a nudie peachy kind of color. I'm not going to line my lips because again I want to keep the lines and shape really soft. That is so pretty. This formula is very smooth. It is a little bit slippy, but it's comfortable. It's not like drying matte. Um, again, I think Velvet describes it very nicely because it sort of has this softness and cushiness to it. This color is as beautiful and understated as, um, as I thought it was gonna be. So that is the final look. <laughs> What do you guys think? I feel very chic, very elegant, yet I don't feel stuffy elegant. I still feel edgy and youthful. And I think that has to do with, of course, the eye look. It's a smoky, little bit more intense eye look. I think, you know, for me, daytime being a pharmacist, no, I don't think I'm going to rock this particular look to work. Nighttime, absolutely. I wish I went out more at night because I really do feel like I would really like wearing this type of makeup look for nighttime. What are my final thoughts? Well, I really like it. I don't want to like it for some reason because it's quite expensive to get each single piece, but I just can't stop looking at it and really being taken by it. It's nothing crazy. It's a smoky eye. It's a, a, a neutral nudie cheek and a neutral peachy lip. Like it's not revolutionary, but I just think A, it's Chanel. So it's really luxurious and nice to use because the packaging and the whole experience is very, very nice. But I also think it's just sort of well thought out. The ombre pencils, are, are amazing. I love them. I already have two in my collection prior to this and I love how creamy they are. I love how it's easy to use them as a liner, just straight up liner, or as a shadow stick because you have time to work with them. They're very soft. They don't tug on the eyes. They come in quite an array of shades. I do feel that it's a star star product in their lineup. I really enjoy using them. The lac. So I only used the bronze today and I am hoping to do more of a daytime look with the other shades I got. So if you are interested in a little bit more of a lighter daytime look with the other products, leave me a comment down below and let me, let me know you're interested. Now this particular shade, again, I've never used this formula before this. Right off the bat, I can tell you don't have much time to play with. I just kind of followed what Chanel suggests doing and that's putting it on the eyelid and just kind of like tapping it into place, not really blending necessarily, because I feel like this product, if you try to start blending it, I don't know, I feel like it would just be like, like it would just move that little bit and then stop dead in its tracks. Because even me putting this on, I feel like it just stuck onto the eyelid and just any tapping motion was just um, a slight blending of the edges, but I don't think I would have had enough time to do a full out nice diffused blend. Again, I do like the product because it adds dimension. Even my daughter at dinner, she was just saying, mama, I like your eyes, they look so dark. I like that, but there's gold. And she was noticing the dimension, you know, she's five. And she was really picking up on the dimension of the shadows. So it is noticeable. It definitely um, does pick up on the light, but I wish it was just maybe that extra little bit more metallic. I do feel like it goes on a little bit metallic-y and then it just, dries down to being a slight sheen. I like it, but it's not a 10 out of 10 product. It's like a six-ish, seven-ish, 
type of product. The blush is amazing for what it is. It's not overly pigmented, which is what I appreciate because I love blush. As you guys probably know if you've been around long enough, for me with blush, it's zero to 60 like this. This doesn't let me get to 60 very quick at all. Even though I'm adding, 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 I still don't get overboard. Like even this, I mean, I added it before I had to stop the video. I added a little bit more when I got back and it's still very understated. And that's what I like about this. If I need a blush to complement a very smoky, intense eye look, that's what I'm going to grab. If I want a blush to complement a very intense dark or red lip, that's the blush I'm gonna go for because you can't go insane with it. It doesn't let you get garish or clown-like. I can appreciate that being someone who goes a little too heavy sometimes with my blush. Last product is the lipstick and I absolutely love it. I feel like it still has a little bit of light reflective quality. It is a perfect subdued peachy shade that I think will go in and complement any of the four sort of like eye look bundles. It's absolutely stunning. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know you guys' thoughts down below. How do you guys like this look? Is it a little too much? Well, yeah, it is a little bit too much. But is it something you were expecting from these products that you've seen online? Did it kind of translate to what you were thinking they were gonna look like on? Let me know your experiences as well. Have you bought something, tried it? Are you thinking of buying anything from this collection? Don't forget to subscribe, of course, and I will see you in my next video.